Hey, what's going on guys? McSkillet here with another CSGO video, and after I did the video on the hardest items to trade for CSGO, I've had tons of requests to do a video on the easiest items to trade, so that's what I'll be doing in this video. And I'm going to be starting off with the cheapest items and then building up to the most expensive items that are easy to trade, and pretty much all the items in this video are used as currency in CSGO to buy other skins. So to start things off, the absolute easiest item to trade, and pretty much the base unit for all CSGO trading, is the case key. And don't get that mixed up with the sticker capsule keys, I'm only talking about case keys, um, but the sticker capsule keys, those are like half the price and not as many people want them, so I would just kind of stay away from those. But any case key, they are pretty easy to trade. And for some reason, there's I, you might occasionally run into some people on like CSGO lounges that won't take certain types of keys, like eSports keys or the original case keys. And I'm not exactly sure why that is. You're not allowed to do that on Reddit. If you're trading on Reddit, you have to accept whatever type of key it is. And I don't really see why one type of key is less than another one. If they're all case keys, they're pretty much all the same, so there's really no reason just to like not accept one type of key, because the majority of people will take any type of keys. You'll occasionally run into some paranoid trader that doesn't like one type of key. But I think that's kind of pointless. You should basically just use all the case keys as the base currency. Most people do, they're just some people that won't take the esports ones, but hopefully they will eventually start taking those, because it's kind of pointless not to. But the places you can buy keys include the Steam Market, which I wouldn't really recommend because they're way overpriced in the Steam Market. And they're actually, if you live in America, they should be cheaper on the actual CSGO homepage if you go on there. But I still wouldn't even recommend buying keys from there because you can also buy keys on websites like OP Skins or BitSkins for less than $2 right now. Or it's usually way cheaper than the Steam Market price or the uh, in-game price for CSGO. So OP skins and bit skins, you can get way cheaper keys on there. And if you want to get keys even cheaper than OP skins and bit skins, if you have a lot of reputation trading, you can try to find people on Reddit or I wouldn't even I wouldn't even suggest CSGO lounge. Like all the all the cash traders on CSGO lounge, almost all of them are scammers, or at least last time I checked. But Reddit you can find some people that might be able to sell keys for you for even cheaper if you're using Bitcoin and sometimes PayPal. But you will have to have a lot of reputation with other other trades and stuff. And I do have a video on how to avoid scammers if you um, are confused on that. So I'll put that link in the description. But now on to the next item. Next up for the next easy item to trade, the AK Redline. And the reason I say this is because the AK Redline is almost always worth around two keys. So uh, you can basically it basically is kind of like a two dollar bill if you're considering the key is a one dollar bill. Basically an AK Redline is a really easy two keys and people don't use these as often, but I mean it's really easy just get to get two keys from these. So you can almost just kind of use them as currency and if you're trying to buy something, you just use AK Redline field a uh, field tested, of course. Field tested non-stat track is the condition that's the easiest to sell by far. It's definitely one of the most commonly traded items on the Steam market. The field tested AK Redline at around five dollars or two keys. So next up, moving on to more expensive items, we've got the Op Asimov Field Tested at around $36. A very easy item to trade. You can almost always get these instantly sold at a specific key price. And the key price is not always exactly the same, and the dollar price is also not always exactly the same. So I won't be throwing an exact price out in the video. You'll have to go on Reddit or just look on OP Skins or maybe the Steam Market. Just You can kind of try to find the price yourself. But the Op Asimov Field tested a really, really easy skin to trade. And uh, if someone's offering this for one of your items, you can almost just look at what the current key price is and count it as key as pure keys because it's so easy to sell. So I definitely recommend trading your items for these if someone offers them because they're easy to eventually cash out. So now on to pretty expensive items where we have the Karambit Tiger Tooth. A very easy item to trade if you're trying to trade for items that are close to a thousand keys or over a thousand keys because you actually can't have over a thousand keys in your inventory at once you can only have a thousand items so people use Kramit tiger tubes and i believe they're valued at around 200 keys it's always kind of changing i don't know what the exact price is you'll have to check um, what people are selling them for on like reddit and csgo lounge people usually try to sell stuff for way more than they're worth on csgo lounge just uh, a warning you can also look on op skins but Karambit tiger tooth is kind of a currency item for really expensive items even though there's actually one more item in this video that 
is kind of also considered currency, and that item is the Factory New Op Dragon Lore, which uh, most ordinary people do not really use these as a currency item, but really like, rich collectors, like uh, I know that the guy that bought all the expensive items in Dubai, he basically just offered people Factory New Dragon Lures, even if the Dragon Lure is worth like a couple hundred dollars more than the other item, they really do not have time for that, so they just have tons of Dragon Lures and trade those for items, or if they're trying to get some like $10,000 knife, they'll trade like, I don't know, seven Dragon Lures or more, but uh, this isn't really too common, not too many people use off Dragon Lore Factory News, but for really end game items, like 100% blue case harden or stuff that's kind of like that, or Stat Track Factory New Crimson Web, people will offer multiple Dragon Lores for them. The, the, the Stat Track Factory New Hal also used to be kind of a nice currency item, but those are getting so rare lately that I, the prices aren't very stable. The Dragon Lore prices are always pretty stable. And it's actually not even that rare of an item, if I'm being honest, because so many of them have been duplicated. It's actually ridiculous how many dupe dragon lures there are. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys found the video helpful, and I'm Exkillet, and I'm out.